Good morning, my fellow practitioners. Here we are, another day. I'm glad to be alive. I hope that you are too. If you're watching it, it means that you, you've you made it. That's great. And uh, today we're going to move on. We're going to do ujjayi breathing. You know, a lot of times people think that the uh, nadi shodhana or the alternate nostril breaths with kumbhakas and bandhas are the most powerful aspects of pranayama, but Mr. Iyengar says that all of that is just nothing but preparation for a deep inhale, deep exhale, and then ultimately a natural, authentic breath, not forced at all. So Ujjayi today, and our hand mudra for the beginning is Prithvi mudra, thumb touching, ring finger, other three fingers extended straight. It's the mudra of the earth, it indicates groundedness. So it helps you adjust to any kind of change or disruption to the normal schedule and whose schedule hasn't been disrupted for months and months. Um, so it helps you establish that spiritual sense of effortless joy, which is the earth which contains everything and is never hurt by a bad dance. So get out there and do your thing. All right, so get your seat. Take a few restorative breaths. Get into your Jalandhara Bandha. As we do every day, the first cycle will be open nostrils on the inhale, open nostrils on the exhale, with no restorative breaths for the first three rounds. And then we'll do the partially closed on the inhale, followed by the partially closed on the exhale, and then both partially closed inhale and exhale. All right, let's get to it. On your next exhale, restorative breath, sink into the truth. Raise the hand, widen the nostrils, and breathe in. Keeping the nostrils wide, breathe out. Second cycle, breathe in. And slowly breathe out. Third cycle, first round, breathe in. And slowly breathe out. So that's your first round. Do everything simply and easy, undemanding, like child's play. Like you're really enjoying it and totally absorbed in it. Now you can choose to either make the inhale longer or the exhale longer, as opposed to samavriti, where it's the same frequency, same rhythm, same length, depth, and so forth. If you increase the inhale, you know you're going to have more of a charge. If you increase the exhale, you know you're going to have more of a calm sense. So that's up to you and how you're doing it. Now we're going to go narrowed nostrils. Now, of course, as soon as you narrow the nostrils, the potential for slowing down the breath and increasing the length is greater. So here now we're going to do not samavritti, but visamvritti. It's a slight shift in the ratio. So longer inhale now to exhale is what we're practicing. All right? Exhale your breath. Raise your hand, narrow the nostrils, and breathe in. Open the nostrils and breathe out. Relax your hand and restore to breathing. Now your spine is likened to Mount Meru. That's their mythological mountain. It's the hub of the universe, revolves around that, just like your life revolves around the center of your spine. So maintain that uniform structure, that's what asana teaches you, and be aware of your own inner Mount Meru as you do the second cycle. Exhale the breath, raise the hand, narrow the nostrils, and breathe in. Open the nostrils and exhale. Relax the hand and restore the breathing. Now, one of the assumptions of all the ancient philosophies is there's an order and a rhythm to life. You can call it the Dharma, the Torah, the Way, the Tao, Ma'at, it doesn't matter. But it's our responsibility to acknowledge this fact, and then move with it. And of course, breath is intimately connected to all the mysteries of 
the rhythm of life, and to the bigger cosmic soup from which the breath comes. Third cycle, first round, exhale your breath, raise the hand, narrow the nostrils and breathe in. Open the nostrils and breathe out. Relax the hand and restore the breath. Now as we move toward the third cycle, which is open nostril inhale, narrow nostril exhale, here's a chance to see how to extend the length of time it takes for the exhale to release the body. So now you know you're going to be working on a little more tranquility with this particular technique. And as we practice yoga sadhana, you got to remember the truth of yoga must be lived, not merely pronounced by the mouth. So exhale, raise the hand, widen the nostrils, breathe in. Now narrow the nostrils and breathe out. And relax your hand and restore the breathing. Now when we do these different variations, what we're trying to do is to embody through ourselves the idea that we're underutilizing this capital this dynamic capital of breath that we're all born with. And for most people, it remains completely unutilized or at least underutilized. But for a yoga practitioner, this is one of the things that we mine for the gold that's there. Exhale the breath. Next round. Widen the nostrils. Breathe in. Narrow the nostrils and exhale. Relax the hand and restore the breath. Remember the long exhalation and then the slight pause after it really helps to still the mind. So continue to turn your senses inwards, your intelligence inwards, and see how that will serve you by having a better sense of what's going on within your anatomy and not just what's happening in the external world. Third cycle, third round. After the restorative exhale, raise your hand. Narrow, open the nostrils and breathe. Narrow the nostrils and exhale. Relax the hand and restore your breathing. Now, part of practicing on a daily basis, or at least on a continual basis, is learning to keep your word, that you make a commitment. And when you're a practitioner, and not just on again and off again, but when you've made this an integral part of your life, keeping your word is a serious matter. You don't want to break your agreements. You want to be known as a person whose word is their bond. And commitment to yoga practice, and I'm not saying it's only in yoga practice, it's commitment, period really important to say you're going to do something, you do it. Mean what you say and you say what you mean. All right, the fourth round. Now we're going to narrowed nostrils, inhale. Now our nostrils on the exhale, so it's going to slow both down. And here you can do visamvriti, uh, samavriti. See if you can make them the same length, depth, and silence. Exhale the breath. Raise the hand. Narrow the nostrils. Breathe in. Keeping the nostrils narrowed, exhale. Relax the hand and restore the breathing. I remember before you practice, they're always telling you empty your bowels and bladders, you know, on your stomach in any way to be an obstruction because you didn't clear yourself. And then always wait a few hours. If you can, after you eat, if it's a heavy meal especially, if you, less time if it's a light meal, and then give yourself a break between the end of practice and before you, you eat, if it's during the early part of the day. 
All right, second cycle, fourth round. Exhale, raise your hand, narrow the nostrils, breathe in. Keeping nostrils narrowed, exhale. Relax your hand and restore the breathing. All right, final cycle on the third round. Irrigate the whole body like your body is a field and you're a farmer who's applying the life-giving water to irrigate the soil and bring forth the plants. So see how the inhale is going to soak into the tissues and then the exhale is going to distribute it through your whole body. Final cycle. Make it the best one yet. Exhale the breath. Raise your hand. Narrow the nostrils and breathe in. And exhale. Relax your hand and restorative breathing. And gently, eyes closed, raise your head up on your spine and then slowly open your eyes.